what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about several different topics in this video here again today we'll be talking about halloween ends pretty little liars original sin joker 2 and scream 6 now just to kick it off with the halloween ends tv spot or some new footage that was released courtesy of that tv spot that came out last night or today or something but yeah it's new footage for the upcoming movie that we know is coming in october 14th later this year in theaters and on peacock the same day so I don't think I'm alone when I say this, but that echoing of Lonnie and his and his friends when they were bullying little Tommy Doyle in the original 78 movie of them saying he's going to get you. He's going to get you. That was a very nice touch to hear that echoing throughout the background while we see these glimpses and quick cuts of things that we can expect to see in the upcoming movie. Uh, so again, we're seeing like quick shots of Corey, Allison, Michael attacking someone that I will assume again is Corey Cunningham's mom. So I guess in this instance, I will say that I do believe that image from before is Michael attacking his mom. But we'll see because I could be mistaken. That actually is not Corey Cunningham's mom and Corey Cunningham could still, in my mind, be killing his own mother because I think that is something that could still play out. So... This was an exciting TV spot for the most part, and it was checking off all the boxes visually for me. Aesthetically, it looks like it's going to be a very atmospheric Halloween movie. Uh, now, again, Halloween ends, I want to say, for now, seems like it's mostly going to just crumble under a poor narrative direction, and the execution might be great, so we'll see. Jamie Lee also specified that Michael was attempting to stab her in the ear with that knitting needle recently in an IG post, so that sounds brutal. Also in the TV spot, we do see a glance of Michael picking up his mask, a mob, and some other things that might convince people of Corey stealing Michael's getup and his clothes at some point in the movie. So if this narrative they decided to go with ends up being something that is one of the best Halloween movies ever, I will come on here and praise it. If it ends up being the worst, I will come on here and tell you that. But just to jump on into the next topic at hand, Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. Pretty Little Liars Original Sin has beaten the beaten the curse pretty little liars original sin season two has been confirmed so it's getting a second season this came after a couple of tweets i was seeing from the cast saying that i know a lot of you also saw it bailey was doing it noah was doing it not noah i forgot her name <laughs> that's her character's name uh mallory bechtel was doing it zaria was doing it so this is officially the first PLL spinoff to survive past one season because this universe has not been able to get off of one season outside of that original show that has birthed us with this universe. So as someone who grew up watching that original show from the very first day it came out on June 8th, 2010, all the way until it ended a couple years back, a few years back now at this point in 2017, this is exciting to see. And part of me does kind of wish that that show Ravenswood made it past one season, even though Ravenswood wasn't all that. I, I, I did enjoy Ravenswood. And if you're a Ravenswood fan, let me know it was well down in the comment section below. We'll see what direction Original Sin season two is going to take with the series i'm expecting to see rose waters and archie appear once again going off of how the the season finale of one ended so we'll see if they dive into a little bit more of angela waters and her upbringing and maybe the principal will return as well i don't believe he was dead ari and ezra cameo seems to be a possibility of going to occur going off of the plot plot development that happened at the end of the season I believe Troy and Belisario, who we know many of you might know, plays Spencer in the OG, has expressed interest in directing an episode, so I hope she gets to do that. I primarily just want the show to focus on the pacing and get a lot of those, and I get that a lot of the problems with that could be coming from the lack of time to waste with the season format. That original show had... 20 to 24 sometimes 25 seasons to work with so they had time to kill and they were killing it in some of the worst ways possible with little to no things happening that felt like a lot of time wasted so season two hopefully it's something that's amazing um, not to say that the first season was something that was amazing, but it was a very well done slasher revival of this universe. So congratulations to all the new liars, and I look forward to venturing back into Millwood. Just to jump into Joker 2 really quick. So a cast update regarding Joker 2. Catherine Keener has landed a major role in the upcoming sequel that is expected to release October of 2024. With production again starting later this year, there was no word on who she is playing. But if you're a fan of Get Out, that's probably where you will recognize this actress from. I can only guess at this point since everything is tight lips so far about the plot specifics for new characters and their roles 
Keener might be working at Arkham Asylum since a chunk of the movie is expected to take place there. And I'm assuming this again points to the mad love storyline being played out since Lady Gaga is also starring as Harley Quinn, who I'm going to expect will be working at the asylum and will end up helping Arthur Fleck escape. So obviously we'll learn more as time passes. I'm excited to see this movie and I have faith that the musical element will not be a turnoff like many people are expecting, but we'll see what this what this movie ends up being like. Scream 6, just to jump into Scream 6, seems to have a new cast member that I've neglected to address named Andre Anthony, and he is allegedly playing a character named Frankie. This is coming from IMDb, so of course you can take it with a grain of salt for now if you choose to, although everything as far as cast members on there are correct, so I suspect there is some truth to this. Now, who is the character of Frankie? Probably a person in whatever frat I'm expecting Chad to be involved in. Frankie really could be the could be the name of a character named greg but I, I know a lot of people now like well who is greg i was sent information related to set names and one of them did say greg and jason's place now what's interesting about that was it made me go back to another thing there was a character breakdown where greg's name was mentioned on a character breakdown for scream six and now apparently at some point in the movie going off of this breakdown greg drunkenly follows a girl at a party according to this breakdown and greg could actually be a code name I, i'm now thinking not, not for frankie it could be a code name for chad similar to how from the audition tape that i did a video about where you had Derek and carla talking carla could be sam in a disguise that could be a disguise for for sam so there's a lot of different things that could be playing out here where we don't really have any characters named Greg or even a character named Christina. The character of Christina and how that's we we know that's the name of their mother. But could that actually be in reference to somebody else like Tara? Because when when Christina's name is mentioned on this character breakdown, it is referencing a 19 year old. That's her friend. Why is Christina friends with a 19 year old unless Christina is cold for Tara and maybe Greg is cold for Chad or Frankie. But again, I don't know who Frankie is. Uh, if you guys have any, any ideas on who Frankie is, you can let me know down in the comment section below. I'm excited for Scream 6 as I know many of you are. So we'll learn everything soon, hopefully. But if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video